Hello, ladies and gents. Welcome back, your lovely faces. So, you saw the thumbnail, you saw the title. I don't really know how to take this myself, probably because I'm not Catholic. And I've asked my father about this many times because I have heard many, many people do this sort of thing when they are about to pass. And obviously, we are going to be talking about this. The Pokes frontman, Shane McGowan, urged Johnny Depp to forgive A.H. Widow reveals in eulogy. Depp and McGowan were friends from on 30 years before the singer's death last week. Shane McGowan's widow, Victoria Mary Clark, shared an anecdote about Johnny Depp with the actor in attendance during her eulogy at the Pogues frontman's funeral on Friday. That the Pogues frontman had urged Johnny to forgive A.H. Depp, 60, was among the stars in attendance at the ceremony held at St. Mary of the Rosary Catholic Church in uh, County Tipperary. The Pirates of the Caribbean star had been friends with McGowan for over 30 years before the Irish singer's death on the 30th of November. Johnny was among the pallbearers who carried the coffin out of the church and gave a reading during the prayers of the faithful segment of the funeral. During her eulogy, Clark, 57, who married McGowan in 2018 after a decades-long relationship, recalled her late husband's advice and missed the bitter legal trials when he had it with A.H. And this is what she said. I hope you don't mind me saying this, Johnny. She began with a smile in the actor's direction. When Johnny had a court case involving his ex-wife, Shane had a long conversation with you, didn't he? And urged you to forgive her. Yeah, he just thought it was the best thing to do because he believed genuinely in forgiveness. Speaking directly to the actor, she asked, I'm sure you have by now, haven't you? Of course you have, of course you have. In 2022, obviously Depp sued A.H. for 50 mil, and he won, obviously. And then McGowan had shared a message for support for Johnny during the trial, which uh, he wrote on Twitter, Stay strong, brother. We are with you. And then it goes on to say about the other people who uh, attended, you know, Bono, Nick Cave, Bob Geldof, among the other big names to attend McGowan's funeral. But with this, it's a very interesting, interesting thing to have the media to latch on to. Well, actually, no, it's not really, because we know what the media is like. And obviously, a lot of people have... They've questioned why she would be saying all of this, and obviously, what it comes down to is religion. And I'm not religious. I had to ask my father about this, because my father was brought up Roman Catholic, and he always brought up the fact, obviously, when Jesus was on the cross... And he prayed to uh, God, saying, Father, forgive the people who were, you know, the guards and everything else. They do not know what they do. And that has stuck with me for a while anyway, because I was like, well, okay. But if someone has done something horrible to me, I'm not going to forget it. He goes, no, no, no. He goes, a lot of people do get this mixed up with the, you know, oh, forgive and forget and all this. He goes, no. He goes, the forgiveness part is about like when Jesus was on the cross and all of this. I was like, right, okay. And again, my dad was like, he goes, you still don't understand. Do you? I'm like, well, no, I don't. I don't. And I still don't. Because what she did was just plain nasty. And if anyone did something like that to me, I could never forgive him. I certainly would never forget him. And that got me thinking because I was like looking around the internet, looking regarding this as well, looking it up. And I was like, why do Christians and Catholics and religious people, why do they say forgive and forget and all this kind of stuff? And it brought me to this website, which I've read and I'm actually quite surprised because it actually gets to the point of why this was happened and why it was being said. Does forgiveness mean the other person gets away with it? A Catholic perspective on forgiveness. I, once I was once asked by a friend, who was not religious, like myself and many of you probably who are watching this, why the church required us to forgive everyone? How is it fair that you could just say sorry and it would all be forgotten and wiped away? I agreed with the sentiment behind the questions. I knew that he had suffered a lot and had people in his life that would be hard to forgive for valid reasons. I also understood that this conception of the church was a misconception but a very difficult one to overcome. He saw this concept of forgiveness as a grave lack of justice. Obviously, with that part by there, 
to forgive and forget and anything else. Like I said to my dad, he goes, no, people getting mixed up. And obviously this person is saying the exact same thing. But forgiveness is a tenet of our faith. When Jesus was dying on the cross, he said of his executioners, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they do. And say, my father said the same thing to me. So how do we understand this forgiveness? And how can we respond to those who find forgiveness hard? A common phrase that people use when talking about forgiveness is that we must forgive and forget. When this is applied to the general ups and downs of ongoing relationships, it's a helpful reminder to let go of the small things, the grudges of daily life. It's an acknowledgement that we too can annoy or irritate others and that we're all called to help one another carry our imperfections. But this phrase can also be very damaging. It needs to be applied carefully. You are not required to keep on forgetting, repeated, the A word, or nastiness. Some relationships are unhealthy and need to be moved on. You are not expected to make up, speak to, or even see again a person who has damaged you. And certainly, when we have been very badly hurt by others, it is important not to forget. Forgetting will not help us access the support we need to heal or bring the other person legally to justice, if that is appropriate. So forgiveness is not about letting the other person get away with it. God cares about our suffering, and he does not expect us to get over things rapidly. He honors our emotions and knows it takes time to heal. He is with us all in our suffering. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. And with that by there, I was like, right, okay then, understanding, you know, reading this, I was like, you know what, okay. I get why, you know, why people believe this if they are religious and everything else. And then you have the bottom part by here, which is literally just it. About saying going on about God does not want us to suffer any longer than is necessary. That is where forgiveness can help us heal. Forgiveness means that we don't have to be consumed by revenge or bitterness. Forgiveness does allow us to move on, which is not the same as forgetting. Forgiveness allows us to reach a place where we are not consumed by what has happened, where the other person's sin does not control us any longer. Forgiving someone else brings us freedom. And with that there, you could tell that Shane McGowan, when he asked Johnny about this, and he was like, forgive, you know, this is what he's on about. And with that, when you read it, it's like, you know, just heal. And to be honest with you, I do think Johnny Depp is healing. And I think he's healed a little, well, quite a bit since last year as well, because it's all behind him now. But when you have people like the media bringing this up all the time, someone's funeral, Shane McGowan's funeral, attended by more than 30,000 people in South Dublin. And out of everything, you know, all the articles, they've just taken that one little thing that his wife said about A.H. Brought that to the centre of everything. You know, because even got this, which this was posted on December 10th. And this is what we got. Victoria actually posted this on the 10th. When you lose a loved one, you need to be able to focus on the blessings. And I want to thank Johnny Depp for being a tower of strength and for supporting me and Shane in so many ways with such respect and compassion and loyalty. Love photo and they've tagged in Gina. You know, it's great to see this because, again, you got people on Twitter like myself. You know, I was questioning. There was no need to bring it up. But... If you think about all the bad things that have happened to people who were in that room, that was the most public and it was the most evil thing because of what she did to Johnny. You know, we've seen so many things here on this channel again with everyone. Obviously, you know, Soups, Stevie, Les, Tug, even Nick Ricader and, you know, Legal Bites and all the others. We have seen so much crap that she did to him. Everyone knows what she did and that is why he was brought up because everyone knew and with her asking he asked you to forgive her and obviously when you are a catholic when you are religious that's how they heal that's why they say you need to forgive and move on and to be honest with you johnny has moved on he's doing amazing we've seen so many great things so far and there's only more to come
But ladies and gents, if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you all soon.